So what's the problem, cuz? Your apple cactus garden looks amazing. These flowers are so beautiful. Um, how come there's only one cactus apple? That's the problem, Matt. There should be hundreds of apples. And without my cactus apples, then I can't make my cactus... Ah, don't say it. You can't make your famous cactus apple juice? Nope. What's cactus apple juice? Only the drink everyone in cyberspace loves. When your thirst is on the loose, try Bridget's cactus apple juice. <laughs> I make it every summer. But this year, everyone is going to be so disappointed. So why no cactus apples? Because there aren't any bats. See? I keep track of how many bats visit my garden every night. Did you say b -b 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 bats You'll have to excuse Inez. She's a little bit scared of bats. I'm a lot bit scared. But what do bats have to do with cactus apples? Bats pollinate these flowers when they drink the nectar. Then the flowers turn into fruits. Pollinate? Come inside. I'll show you. See? Hungry bats come to my garden to drink the nectar from my apple cactus flowers. <laughs> Is this gonna happen all day, Nezzy? Maybe. And don't call me Nezzy. <laughs> When they drink, they get pollen from the flowers on themselves. They don't mean to, but they do. That's the gold dusty stuff. Then they carry the pollen from one flower to another. That's pollination. Bats are so cool. Not looking. I'm confused. You have flowers, then you get the fruit? Watch. Over time, the pollinated flower grows into a cactus apple. So, no bats means no pollination. And if there's no pollination, then there are no cactus apples, which means... No cactus apple juice. I... I just need a moment. <laughs> Why did the bats stop coming? I don't know. I just figured the bats would always be here because... Well, because they always are here. At least at night. Oh. Why just at night? Because they don't like sunlight, or any light for that matter. I'm really worried about them. Okay, cuz, I'm ready for action. For the sake of your garden and your juice, and the bats, of course, it's bat finding time. Whoa, check out all these flowers, right in the middle of the desert. Can we get a closer look, Bridge? Sure. Milk moss plants. Cool. These are really neat. <laughs> the bees and hummingbirds sure like them. Aw, oh, and butterflies, too. Guess what? Those are all pollinators just like bats. Butterflies especially love milk moss. Imagine that. They're pollinating right before our very eyes. But not all pollinators like the same things. Bats are the only ones who drink apple cactus nectar. <laughs> These butterflies love milk moss, that's for sure. You can say that again. They're following the plants all the way across the desert. It's like a butterfly highway. All aboard, everyone. We have a cave to find, and hopefully some bats. I cannot believe I just said that. <laughs> <laughs> I love my new secret hideout. This cave is far better for me than it ever was for those pesky bats. This is the bats' cave, and Hacker took it from them. That must be why the bats aren't going to Bridget's garden anymore. They had to find a new home, and maybe it's too far away from Bridget's. We think we found the cave where the bats used to live. And we found where the bats are living now. How are they? Are they okay? We think so. They're sleeping. But they can't stay here. There's no food for them. They need to get back to their cave. In my garden. Guess who kicked them out? Hacker. Hacker? He's using their cave for 
Cooper's new secret hideout. Oh, I feel so bad for those poor bats. Animals have rights too, you know. Where are you? Where's the cave? Just like you said, Bridge, the cave is east of your garden. I've been tracking and now we're at F2. Where are you? Way south of you at Magnificent Mesa. H6. We'll fly back your way. Okay, and we'll work on a way to get Hacker out of the cave so the bats can come back. Hmm, I think I have an idea. Ah, so good. I've been working so hard. I think he means we've been working so hard. Did you say something? Oh, that sound came from that bat. <laughs> from that great big bat! <laughs> big bat! Get me out of here! Ah! I grab all my things! <laughs> Way to go, Inez! That'll teach them to chase bats out of their home. Okay, all the lights are gone. And the cave's dark again. So, where are the bats? Shouldn't they be back by now? How are the bats supposed to know Hacker's gone? And it's safe to come home. They'll know, right? They must know. What could say? The bats will be back. They didn't come back. Yup, the bats are still here. And still sleeping. Ah, look how peaceful they are. And cute. <laughs> Four bats. I know, but we need to get them back to their cave. And soon. But how? We can do this. We found the bats, and we found their cave. What else do we know? We know that when the bats come back, it won't be long till I have some thirst-quenching cactus apple juice. And how will that happen? The bats will pollinate the apple cactus flowers. And why do they pollinate? Because they love to drink the nectar from the flowers. Just like the butterflies love to drink nectar from the milk moss plants. No kidding. The butterflies follow those plants everywhere. Wait a minute. If butterflies follow the milk moss, why can't we do the same thing for the bats? But bats don't like milk moss plants. Not milk moss. We can make a trail of apple cactus plants to lead the bats back to their cave. A bat highway. A bat highway it is. Let's get organized. Hopefully, they'll wake up soon. You think this is going to work? We'll know soon, Jackie. Nighttime is their time to fly. This has to work. The bats need to get back to their home, and they need their food. You really like them now, huh, Inez? You know what? Bats do a lot of really cool things. Like help make the cactus apple juice that I miss, miss, miss. And you know what else? They really are kind of cute. Watch that I hear. These little cutie pies are waking up. They gotta be hungry. <gasps> it's happening. They're eating. Best bad 
Garden Bridge. They always have. <laughs> Looks like they always will. Watch your favorite shows anytime on the PBS Kids video app.